Aloha, this is me Lisa Jensen is Brown. And I wanted to do a video for you for the solstice. Um lots going on. Um very um bizarre, weird, awesome, magical um times that we're in. Uh, many we're running many different timelines. And so um in order uh, to Clear the old density of the old consciousness. Uh, as the old consciousness grid work collapses, um, this is going to speed up um, so that everyone holding on and to those mentalities um, and participating in the old programs, pointing the finger, um, will experience a, a faster collapse. Now, out there only collapses as inside has to collapse too. And so our job is to get everybody to go inside. Go inside. Uh, because when you shun a frequency, your reality completely changes. And uh, you leave uh, literally the old uh, grid work of consciousness behind. You shift to a different grid work. Um, now, there's a third dimensional, fourth dimensional, fifth dimensional, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's a ton of dimensional consciousnesses. And the more you embrace, the more you expand, the more of them you can access. Now, embodiment of these different dimensions means holding that amount of light. We are activating in photonic light. Uh, photons, our cells, charge in light. They're racing around inside of our body. Um, they're pushing out, obliterating the old realities inside of us. And as they do, outside there, it starts to shift and change. Anything inside of you is going to come up. That's the point. So pay attention to yourself. See what emerges within. Pay attention to the themes. Um, because there will be themes in your world. There will be repetition. When you start seeing things many times, there's messages there. There's things that you're supposed to see. That entire reality out there is your creation. It is inside your body. It is inside your physical body. It is inside your organs. Your bones, your teeth, your muscles. It's, it's, it's inside every particle are you, of you. You are a star being. Your star particles activate. You start to itch. A solar flare. Your body flares up. Um, the universe inside of you. Um, that out there is a projection. That out there is a hologram that solidifies, becomes real. According to your beliefs your energy, your frequency transmission. Now, if you want to change a hologram, you have to change your transmission. You do this by paying attention. You do this uh, with intention, focus, and, and make sure that what you're doing is productive and, and feeding the new in light. Uh, let go of the participation in the old because you're feeding that grid work, and when you do, that's your grid work. Um, and when it collapses... Um, your world, a lot of people right now are saying, what's going on in my world? Why are these things happening to me? They're not happening to you. They're happening from inside of you. Go inside. Change your transmission. Now, I say these words and people go, how? There are many, many, many ways. This is what we do. Uh, so, find something, someone that resonates with you and, and make it a priority. Um, a lot, the human won't choose. The human will wait um, until something occurs to get the heart open. This is about opening our heart up. This is about becoming love again. This is about becoming who we have always been. And who we've always been is absolute and utter complete love. Nothing less. Um, now, um, as humans, we're limited. And while watching the mindsets, it is quite interesting. Because when we expand in light, our abilities uh, expand as well. Um, we have 360 degree range, hear, see, feel. Uh, every every sense is enhanced. Uh, the human's word of telepathy, energetically, we just we, we understand, hear, see, feel at all. Um, but it's not a trigger for us per se. We're, it's an awareness. Um, <laughs> now the human will. I've been watching. It's been so interesting because the human mind will use their imagination to create a false reality that doesn't exist. It has been utterly and completely enlightening 
to say the least, because we're, we're observing the human mind going, oh, this is how things must be. And when you say, really? And they're like, oh, yes, it has to be. And it's got to fit in my box. And this is my little world. And I've created it in my mind. And if it doesn't go this way, I'm going to fall apart. And I'm going, holy cow. No. The boxes, uh, the limits, the, the self-imposed belief systems are utter and completely uh, astonishing to say the least. Now, the funny part is that we all did this. So I can look at myself uh, when I was predominantly human and I did the same thing to the extreme. I am an extremist. And that's kind of how we do this. I went from one extreme to the other. And, and the cool thing is when you do it with intention and you go to the other extreme intentionally really fast, you can counterbalance your reality, bring it back to zero point, and balance really fast. So there are many things we can do with intention. That's <laughs> completely amazing, too. Now, uh, the activation of Earth 3, um, the release of this consciousness so that we can actually um, embody it and hold it here. Um, beyond anything I comprehended at the time, and now I'm um, seeing all of the prophecies uh, that um, are, are playing out, but taking them and transforming them into light, transforming them into this now and, and what they mean for us now. Completely different perceptions and awarenesses. Uh, very cool. So I'll be sharing some of those with you with uh, through other avenues. Um, some of the interviews that I do, um, come join me and listen. They're all free. Um, the book, uh, Navigating Dimensions and Awakening to Remembering Two Books. Uh, I wrote all of this out. I have a, a umpteen thousand videos. Um, they're out there for you and a million gazillion writings that I've been writing for years. I'm getting a lot of messages from people. For a long time, nobody understood a word I said. That kind of was the point. Now they're going, wow, we're getting it. We're experiencing it. Yes, this is the point too. And part of my job as a way shower was to do it first, put it out, share it, so that when... Everybody had to have already heard it, so that when it started to happen to them, when everything got really bizarre, when the walls started to breathe and the dreams went haywire and they started feeling like they were having experiences and the whole world started turning upside down, not really, because it doesn't, um, it realigns for us. Um, it is adjusted for us. Uh, the old things that are not in alignment with our new earth reality um, are removed uh, to get our attention, to point us inward, to keep us on path. There are many things that occur that now make sense because we understand it and we can see. One, you have to shift out of the old mentalities. You have to actually be open and you have to want for something more. So challenge your own reality. Um, pay attention. Uh, focus your intention and attention and your energy on creating change, but in light. Um, in watching and observing, uh, this is how I do. It's the only way that I can see sometimes is to go watch and see what happens out there. So many people um, sharing the old illusions and uh, pointing the finger at that, and they don't understand that, that they're maintaining that good work. They're actually causing it um, by feeding the energy into it. We, we turn and we shift. Or shift and turn. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, and we, focused our, we focus our attention on on creating change from love, not all the other energies that we are clearing from inside of us. Uh, when we're done, we'll know it. We'll say, well, I'm done with that. I would like something more. I'd like to be happy. I want to play in bliss and magic too, like everybody else is doing as well. I want to be on new earth because it's inside of me. And we'll bring it out. Um, all the memories, all the rememberings, awakening. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, but you got to really want it. And you got to take it serious. And you got to make it your priority. And as the human does, it's like, no, 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 I'm going to hold on to all of my stuff. It's more important to me. This is more important. Well, um, something will occur to make ascension important um, for everybody here because it's, it's the only purpose that any one of us are here. So if you're watching this and it resonates with you, there's a reason for that. Um, hopefully it will assist you in looking at your world and seeing what's going on, see when, where you're putting your energy um, and, and actually refocusing and, and, and realizing you hold the power of creation. You, ha you hold the power as source. You hold the power of everything inside of you. You uh, have ascended as a higher of form, but it's up to you to activate, integrate, sleep, um, to bring that light in from within you and and um, walk as your ascended master self here. Uh, pure. Uh, we are pure. 
um, everything goes. Uh, there, there's nothing less. And uh, we merge as the new human, and we walk in physical form. And we, as a consciousness, it's a collective. And it is a new earth, it's an earth three, and it's a galactic, it's a Lemurian, it's all of these. Um, there's separation between any of these or all of these things. So, if you want a magnificent experience, um, let uh, your body clear and cleanse, purify, assist it. Don't interfere, don't try to fix something, there's nothing wrong with you. Um, you're, the love that you are is trying to come through. The love that you've always been is, is trying to emerge, is pushing all of the stuff out of your body that doesn't operate at the frequency of light, that doesn't operate at the frequency of love. Um, everything is a frequency. Everything is energy. This is you as pure source. This is you. And you will remember this. Um, and when you come back to pure energy form, um, when you come back to being source again, when you come back to God consciousness, uh, one, You'll reclaim your power because power is within. Uh, you'll let go of the limits and, and everything will change. Um, and you do this by actually um, participating in the journey and by choice and making it a prior priority. Get your vibration up, anchor light, all these things. Um, I know I'm using my words, um, but then again, it, it is what it is. Um, we are have evolved um, as solar crystalline, as star light beings, as stargates. Uh, we walk in multiple dimensions all at one time. If uh, we create parallels at will, we um, jump timelines. Uh, we are quantum beings. We have quantum existence. It's beyond magnificent. And, and this is here for every one of us. This is not a special, I have this and you don't type thing. This is who we are at our core. And this is what em is emerging inside of everybody here. And we share and to remind you and to help you to remember and uh, that this is who you are. So welcome, uh, family, because we are family. Um, without all the old dysfunction, in a way, without without the inability to share, without the old greed and judgment, and and, and blame, shame, fear, guilt, all of that stuff. It goes. Uh, we don't care. Uh, we don't hold on to that here. Um, if you wish um, to play like a child, if you wish to enjoy the magic and the bliss and the actual physical realities that now exist here uh, on our earth um, in physical form. It's a vibrational existence that, it, that materializes and um, the hologram changes, um, but you're the one that changes it. And so if you wish to change your hologram, you have to embrace yourself as a crystal transmitter. You have to upgrade in light. The crystals will form inside your body, under your skin, in your joints, star particles, itch. You name it, yep, bizarre. And it's normal to us. This is how we are. Uh, solar crystalline uh, starlight bodies. Uh, walking in the physical here. So, I had other stuff I wanted to talk about. Uh, but I think I, I posted some on my wall on Facebook. So, um, you can go read that. I have a lot more stuff. Um, but come join us in the um, members portal access area of another dimension. We will be uh, loading a bunch of content in there over the next couple months. Um, but come join us. Uh, we have a beautiful family. And um, come share with us. And, and, and be loved again. Mahalo. I love you.